got my hair cut. Great. This is valuable content. Hello and welcome to Spinster's Library. I'm Claudia. And I'm Robin, the guest spinster again. Yeah, so you dragged me to the charity shops. It's like the opposite of the last haul yeah. where I convinced you to go charity shopping with yeah. me. This time <laughs> you were all about the shops. You were outraged when we found two shops closed. Two, and one of them is a specific bookshop that usually has a half price sale on. I yes. was gutted. Tragic. Anyway, you still managed to get a few books, didn't you? So, uh, yeah, this time you got loads more books than I did. I brought my trusty spinstery bag that I love and I will show in every single video but you definitely got loads more books and actually the ones that I got you found I so. did okay so I'll start off by saying that I had some books in mind already so um I've recently finished reading The Remains of the Day by Kazuo Ishiguro sorry yeah so I was really desperate to find uh, Never Let Me Go because I, I really enjoyed The Remains of the Day so obviously I wanted to give other books from the same author a go. Um, I also wanted to get my own copy of The Cuckoo's Calling as I'm currently borrowing Claudia's version mm -hmm. and I, because I love the book so much I want to have my series on my shelf. And you also wanted to get a Claire Macintosh, didn't oh, you? Oh I did, yes. Because she's a sort of local... She's local Ish, to us, yeah, North yeah. Wales author. Also crime thriller as well. She used to be a police detective and worked yeah. in the CID. I'm, I'd, I'd be quite interested in reading her books as yeah. well. So. so unfortunately from our haul today, we didn't find any Claire Macintosh, but I was lucky. In the first shop I went to, I found an ugly edition of Never Let Me Go. So it's obviously the movie cover. Edition oh, I don't like, I don't like those either. I hate movie covers and... Again, I would not have picked this up if I hadn't have read no. The Remains of the Day. Um, so yeah, but I found that book. I'm really pleased I found it. If I enjoy reading it and I want it to remain on my bookshelf, I will get a prettier version. Yes, that's, that's <laughs> probably a good way to do it. Yeah. I read Never Let Me Go last year and I really okay. liked it. Excellent. It was the first Ishiguro book I read and that is ah. why I picked up The Remains of the Day in a charity shop as well. It's, like I said, not as uplifting as The Remains of the Day. It's kind of... Yeah a bit more sad. Uh, the characters are kind of unlikable, so be prepared for that as well. Excellent. Well, you, I, yeah, I like something that's different. So it's I really think. well written. And yeah. I also enjoy reading sad books as well. Okay, and then you spotted these two books that uh, are part of my 1818 novel project. So the two Jane Austen books that came out in 1818, that's Northanger Abbey and Persuasion. I would otherwise have got them on Kindle because you can get them for free on Amazon. But I do prefer reading books on paper if I can. Yeah. So getting them in a charity shop is a pretty good deal. So my next book is Pigeon by Alice Conran. So I actually know Alice Conran's mother and I promised her mother that I would read Alice's book. Um, and funnily enough as well, um, I noticed that the label from the bookshop that it was bought was actually where I work, which is in a National Trust property. It's not been touched. I'm kind of heartbroken that it hasn't been read. So I, even though it wasn't something that I was planning on reading anytime soon, I just felt that it was a good reason to pick it up for a pound in a charity shop. Never read. Why yeah. not? Welcome to the concept of the TBR. Before you know it, it will take over your room. Yeah, I, I've already got piles of books on the floor <laughs> in the living room. Yeah. My boyfriend Jimmy is not so impressed by that. But we will get a bookshelf soon. So is this is this her first novel? Is this her only novel? Or what? Like, Ooh, has she written if I'm before? honest, I'm not sure. That's just the one that is out there, okay. I suppose. It's, it's the one that's done well. Yeah, it's a little book dedication at the front. And it's the first two words are Imam, which is to mum, um, who resuscitated this book with tears. So Sweet. that's obviously why it was very dear to her mother, who I know very well as well. So again, I think it would be a good one for me to read. And I think it's, it's sort of sentimental to me because I know the family. Mm. So I'm very excited to read that. Oh, that was my back. Yeah, sorry. That hurt. Sorry. So what else did you get? I got another classic. I really need to stop buying classics. I've been reading loads recently, <laughs> but this is one that I, you know, that has been on my TBR as well. And that's Anne Bronte's The Tenant of of, and that's Anne Bronte's The Tenant of Wild Felt. What's that? <laughs> Can you read that? 
the book that Claudia is going to read at some point that's gone off her TBR list is The Tenant of Wildfell Hall by, by Anne Bronte. Thank you. <laughs> Almost everyone who's read this says it's better than Agnes Grey, who's no her way. most uh, famous book. Yeah. I've not read Agnes Grey either, but I might actually start with this one if this one's going to be better anyway. Perfect. But definitely not this month. I've, I've already got classics that I want to read this classics month. Classics galore. Yeah, <laughs> I do like classics. One day I'll get you into classics. The last book that I got from the charity shops today, I was drawn to, obviously I saw it in this view, initially and I was drawn to it by the crazy coloured cover yeah you can't it's really see that like, really well I don't think you can slide. it's almost like a metallic kind gold? of gold Shimmery. shimmer to a light minty green so um it's written by Lucy Diamond and it's called The Secrets of Happiness and so I'm one for having a really good mindset in life I like the idea of mindfulness and happiness and all that kind of thing um, so I picked this up simply because of the colour and the name, the title we did a quick scan on Goodreads in the shop and we found that it was quite rated, highly rated yeah. 4 I think yeah. automatically I thought well it's 99 pence Again, it's not going to be the end of the world if I hate it, but I'm really drawn to it. It's got some good reviews, so I'm going to give yeah. it a go. And I haven't then, got any more books, so... So it's down to me to entertain you with one last book, which unfortunately wasn't from a charity shop that I bought. However, it was one from Claudia's I'm going to throw it away list. And Amazing. it's Nick Hornby's A Long Way Down. I still don't think you should read it. I think that might put you off reading again. <laughs> A lot of people like Nick Hornby. Yeah. I tried three of his books. I tried, uh, well, I read About a Boy. I read A Long Way Down. And I read this one YA book that he wrote about a teenage boy who's becoming a father and then he travels for its entire... It was really weird. Yeah. I, do, I do not like his style. I don't okay. find it funny. I don't find it very entertaining. I find it really bland. So yeah. I don't understand why so many people love his books. But the thing is, so many people do love his books, so I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, I'm going to give it a go anyway. I, I mean, I had never heard of him, if I'm honest. Um, I've but watched, you have heard about, about I've watched Boy. About a Boy. Yeah. I really enjoyed it, the movie. So, I mean, it's just, it's only a short book. It's roughly 260 odd pages long. Don't force yourself through it if you don't enjoy it. I won't, but it's a short book. Yeah. It's not going to kill me if I do force myself. I think the <laughs> setup is that it's about a group of people who want to throw themselves off the top of a building in London. And Morbid. then <laughs> it is, it is. It's kind of like one of those dark comedy type books. Um, and then, you know, they talk about life and stuff and oh, I can't okay. remember anything about the plot. Give it a go, you might like it. If not, I don't mind if you just like Charity shop. Charity it. shop it, yeah. <laughs> well it'll be at the bottom of, of my T B R That's list. a new word you've T B R Jargon. <laughs> I had I had like a little sign there that said to be read nice. on three little stickers. And then Bill, at some point, without telling me, changed it, like, pushed them together so it said bread. And I did not notice for, like, weeks. That's amazing. Yes. <laughs> bread! <laughs> yes, and then they fell off at some point. So there we are. That's our charity shop book haul. For I, April? For April, yes. yes. So um, I wasn't successful in getting the ones that I had in mind, apart from one. However, I still managed to get a fair few, which I'm happy with. That's it. Brill, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. By the way, both of these books What's came out. What's that noise? So Litter stop. box. Oh. <laughs> what did you think? I didn't know. That's why I stopped you. It's just Minerva scratching at the cat litter. <laughs> I got so scared. Okay, well, genuinely, what did you think that I didn't was? know. That's why I was panicking. Minerva. <laughs> <laughs> Where you came from in the fright with your pooping or whatever.